Ay, ay, ay. Rough, rough, rough. We've got deception. And I really feel someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So there's there's a false self mask here that's being dropped here. Now, take, take this into consideration, Capricorn. This could be you experiencing with your current person, your ex, or this could also be an energy around you and your connection. And it's happening around, like it's happening to your, your person and their ex is having an issue. Um, or you're with a great person and you're having an ex and your ex doesn't let you, um, but release the ex. Yes, this is still lingering. Um, some of you are just releasing. This is your story where you're actually releasing somebody. Pay attention to the red flags and forgiving and learning. So this is clearly an, um, and a very intense reading as I knew it was going to be. Um, I feel like there's a um during meditation I just felt an energy of a roller coaster so you're finding your balance and as capricorns would because there's nothing more uncomfortable for a capricorn is to not feel grounded and we need to capture groundedness in uh, some levels of in some areas and sometimes when we give our hearts it spills over in other areas and you know you're not going to have the energy to probably see other people so I think um Capricorns tend to embrace their sister sign, Virgo, hermit energy in these times and kind of want to be alone and kind of want to be quiet, which is also okay, right? So there's a lot that you're going to be releasing with this forgiving and learning and more about forgiving yourself, um, transitioning. It really is like an epiphany. I do feel tower energy, but... Uh, Spirit always gives us something for a reason. So let's see. We got all of us. Yes. I need patience, temperance. So we see this all the time. I'm already seeing we have four major arcanas and then a third eye. This to me, this is the awakening. This is when your eye is opening. So clearly to me, this is speaking loudly and the wheel of fortune. Oh my goodness. And the sun. There goes the sun. Capricorn and there goes the choices and there you go my nine of pentacles you guys are my nine of pentacles there's a really big transition and these are never hard and also these are we're not in control of this so whatever's happening is happening in the order it needs to happen with the temperance here and it's one of those things that it's faded but it's gonna lead you to more clarity with the sun and more enlightenment more illumination so of course third eye all this is happening as a mirror intuition here high priestess very spiritual yes it is devil energy there you go that's you you know when the the major arcana of the own sign shows up this is strong energy about what we're coping with one it definitely tells me this is a capricorn read and two, it also shows me this is this represents your light and your shadows because we all embody light and shadow. And then, of course, Empress energy. This is what you're becoming whole again. You you will become whole again. You have to know your worth, and I know you know your worth. This is about uh, the purge. Um, I feel the devil energy is definitely a purge. I feel this whole situation is a purge. All right, I've got to brace myself for this reading. Oh, I wanted to pull the spiritual oracle. So yes, since we're here, we're going to pull these again this week, Capricorn, because I do feel this is a purge. This is a spiritual alignment. Proof with um, the third eye, proof with the all the major arcanas we're seeing. So spirit, what is the spirit growth or transition for Capricorn right now? Soul alignment. There's an integration of yourself and your soul's purpose happening at the same time. I mean, that's exactly what happens um, when the soul begins to align. Wow, the, the car just moved. You guys didn't see it, but spend time in nature. Retreat from your busy life and connect with wildlife and Mother Earth in its raw and beautiful form. So this again represents the time alone, that hermit energy. If anything, we're speaking to your need for hermit. Bottom of that is self-care and bottom of that is recovery. And bottom of that is divine timing again with the temperance. So a lot of self-care. I've been, I know, I know I'm, I sound like a broken record at this point. 
this came out to spiritual places experience a retreat or other spiritual place with a like-minded souls to rejuvenate your mind body and spirit there's so much about retreat here with the spend time with nature so capricorn your soul definitely needs a lot of retreating you have heightened awareness yes this is definitely bringing you more information you're intuitively high priestess sensing something is shifting beneath the surface and you are right yes capricorn you are right something is definitely shifting uh i'm actually the void i'm actually happy to see this card because capricorn even with myself sometimes i can't explain what this is so the void here there is a gap in time space or other perception during which things are working beneath the surface let it be and there's like this weird um the only way to explain there's this weird void of just uncertainty and just not knowing where things go are going and the spirit is loudly saying here it's it's happening beneath the surface so they're the ones doing it which speaks on the major arcanas that we have no control over so spirit is just saying let it be temperance again with patience let it just kind of do its thing um the showing us the wheel of fortune let the wheel kind of work um for us and then igniting your passions which i do feel with this temp empress energy that after all this there's this um there's just going to be a new vibrancy within yourself so find that something or someone that speaks to your heart lift your mood and sparks and sparks your creativity if related to work do what you love and so there's definitely um a shift of where you're putting your energy to and all this is moving you through this shift Ooh, capricorn you already have me out of breath all right so let's get into some clarifiers here spirit give me more of this third eye oh, wow clearly judgment we have another major arcana so judgment this is spirit working to your favor again capricorn energy just to stabilize we're regrounding here capricorn and this just speaks to what's happening the chariot here the three of swords and the king of swords you guys could have been dealing with a cancer a capricorn a libra a pisces air sign here um gemini aquarius libra but this this separation if a lot of you this x we're obviously there's an x happening there's a separation happening and it's happening for a reason and the mirror here is to show you one also your your lessons behind this i feel always self-worth right because i feel like the chariot is the lesson here so let's see what the child is showing us the chariot is the child of mother and father yes so energy is flowing eight of wands it's the two fastest energy is the chariot and the eight of wands give me more on the chariot so that means this just confirms energy is shifting and moving nine of cups yes minor arcana of hermit for emotional fulfillment this is about you're finding your happiness again this is to bring you whatever's marrying is showing you is this really making you happy what's causing these three of swords give me more of the three of swords you know for some of you chariot can represent work related and there we go hermit energy again so this is the i don't know <laughs> three of swords you're sorting it out two of pentacles and hermit this mirror is for you to sort it out this this mirror this third eye is for you to see to sit with yourself again you guys know the hermit two nines to sit with yourself to sort it out i think this is a time to nurture your space to really see things for what they are um you know the this get the clarity you need we do have tower here so maybe some the epiphany there goes the tower i was speaking about you know so something definitely coming to some kind of realization um clarity here okay more of this king of swords and you taking charge like you're gonna cut away there's like a clear decision you're gonna become very clear in the mind with this king of swords wow yeah king of swords queen of swords so this embodies strong air signs 
um, you're going to detach yourself from the situation. You're very clear about a new beginning here. Ten of Pentacles and the Fool. This is your standard for a new real relationship, real love. Um, also, I'm not thinking like, this feels like everything, you guys. So this could also be an indication of this spilling over your life and you taking back a lot of logical approaches. This is not emotional. You've got King and Queen of Swords. So this is non emotional about it's almost like seeing your emotions from an ob observer perspective with the hermits, right? So you're seeing on a hermit level, you're observing your own emotions in this time. And the third eye is about spirit wanting you to observe yourself and really what is bringing you emotional fulfillment with that nine of cups. Can you this nine? I mean, high priestess. the high priestess here you know this is a lot of spending time alone and to me this high priestess is screaming the, the needs of retreat here and a lot of quiet time combined with this hermit came around this high priestess you know this is also like gaining this is increasing your level of intuition here about how you've been feeling about what you've been investing your time in wow so page of pentacles yeah what you're investing your time in where you're putting your efforts you're putting to end any of those things you're also just shifting and changing and like i said this is a spiritual awakening so an epiphany is happening here about um what we were and you know the illusions what we thought could be maybe is not being maybe we were in in our headspace about something and it just it's not turning out um a lot of rest time to rethink here with the four of swords so clearly walking away of this connection to me is the key here a lot of you are seeing the red flags also page of pentacles represents the lack of investment of this person so give me more of this page of pentacles you know it's it's not enough work you know that this person is giving you right yeah four cups always left this is the uncertainty the moon always left like not knowing and it's like they're just not emotionally fulfilling whatever they give is 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 it's just not it's a disappointment it's just a huge disappointment capricorn so give me more of this death energy why the death and you're awakening to that and you're getting your mind clear and you're just putting things in perspective yeah giving yourself time tower again seven of pentacles yep there goes my nine of pentacles you will get back like at the end of the day capricorn you know what to do and you know how to stabilize your life you know how to reground your spirit your soul and your this time of away you know is a space to re rethink, re reroot. Um, uh, some of these pentacles need to change, and what you thought was is probably not going to be. And that's just how spirit tends to communicate to us. There's no need to be, you know, we can mourn it. Let let the grief happen because um, I feel like an old strategy is changing. We're re-strategizing, and that's why spirit is saying, pay attention to the facts at this point. Um, and then just forgive and learn this is a learning experience take what it is take it you know take what, what you have to and just move to the next stage for yourself give me more on this devil why the devil so we have the six of cups ace of wands and then we have the hierophant taurus energy queen of pentacles so clearly waiting for this this relationship um there's an obsession probably a huge desire here some of you is an ex so this ex right it's this desire to have up this connection with this person for some of you this is your person has a someone in their surrounding their ex could be a baby mom right um someone they were married to who doesn't want to let them go um 
this this is a bondage here with the devil the past is clinging and i feel like there's a need to let go here because it's i mean look at all this other energy here it's it's showing you the flat like the flared flags are here about the situation give me more of the six of cups if you have five of swords nine of swords it's just not it's more struggle than anything um, uh, if you're dealing with, with, if your person is dealing with a baby mama, someone they have kids with, um, this is a, just an energy they're in. They don't know how to release this. And I feel this whole transition is calling for the end of this relationship. Here more on this Hierophant. Yeah. The lovers, I think there's a choice, right? So either you're, you're the other person here, right? You're their person. You're with your person and your person has walked away but it's almost like um not willing to let go um if this is a situation where this is a past ex obviously the person's choosing you capricorn but you're feeling the the, the pains of this there's an ex that's not really ready to let go here clearly okay more of this four of wands yeah seven of cups so clearly knowing that they're in another commitment that there is options here but also maybe still dreamy again the illusion of having this commitment with your person or your person having a commitment with you whoever you're releasing so this person maybe is giving you a hard time of letting you go so if this is you this is a person who's just giving you a hard time of letting go and this is why these emotional transitions happen because we don't we've got a lot of thinking to do and how much you know it's a, it's it's not satisfying it's just it's a disappointment get more of the um, empress energy get more of this empress energy i i my capricorns you guys really have been working on yourself and this is why i know like whatever it is whoever however this energy pans out you've been in this nine of pentacles for a long time so you're gonna know how to come out of this really quickly um which is why i see the empress this is pre-empress energy nine of pentacles is pre-empress energy give me this empress please ten of cups yeah you're gonna know what to do you're gonna know what to do um give more of this empress Ooh, spirit what is going on all right two of pentacles you're gonna know what to do this is a decision that needs to be made and again we're back to the nine of pentacles here so back to your emotional fulfillment so this is a lot about you finding your happiness Maybe some of you are just in the space of needing to decide because like we said, you're you're still in the space of figuring it out with the three of swords and the two of pentacles, right? The hermit, there's like information coming to you, the third eye, right? So we're back to the two of pentacles and the nine of cups again. So you're emotionally feeling and you know that it's about your ten of cups. And if this relationship is not everything and, you know, like what it needs to be then you're not about it either i don't feel like i have to clarify anything else here capricorn um i'm gonna clarify this release your ex with your with another deck here give me more on this release your ex the Empress and the Two of Cups. So this to me shows, one, this is the Empress looking for happiness um, and a, a more emotional fulfillment. So this is you looking for, for a more emotional fulfillment. Um, I don't have to do reversals. This is also you put, putting yourself first and releasing this connection if it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, for those of you that if this is your surrounding or, or your person dealing with a, a baby mama, um, they're obviously going to choose you and this person is not accepting that that there is another person it's a you because clearly there's another person here there's an empress there's another relationship here 
and there goes the two of pentacles and the hanged man so and there's movement and the ten of pentacles so clearly um letting go of their ex is really having they're having a hard time with what's happening and you know this third eye energy also reflects them so there's so much that's happening here capricorn if you guys are going through these motions where you have a person also releasing because this is a big theme in all the readings to be honest where there's a, a closure so all the retrogrades in the cosmos that's why i know this is really a spiritual path so um capricorn you're just being asked to really sit with yourself a lot and find um to just understand the void the uncertainty of what's happening certain things are going to feel very disappointing if you're letting go of this person you just kind of came to some level of clarity that this is someone you need to really really let go and you need to like no longer invest um and if this is your person dealing with an ex then you know that this ex obviously they're choosing you and they have to let go of whoever their this ex is which obviously clearly is there there's just an energy of not accepting so um i want to pull uh an energy of abundance abundance guidance for you guys to see because i don't feel like this is just spilling over in one area so give me an abundance guidance for our capricorns This is like a waiting period for a lot of you. Happiness is obviously here. So visualize abundance in all forms. I mean, that could this not represent Empress with the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So this is like whatever is happening here, still visualize abundance in all forms. This is confirmation here, Capricorn. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. And it will. I mean, Empress is here. It's it's gonna, it's like spirit is just saying, either way, this is what's happening is going to work in your favor. Again, wheel of fortune. So be patient, Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. Either way, it's it's a blessing. And your power that you've been in, again, pre-Empress energy, you've been in a while, you've been embodying extremely strong energy that this is still a soul alignment. So your, your soul is constantly working towards this goal. Um, so let's see what the blockage is, is here. Remember who you are and where you come from. Yes, we just talked about it moving on don't look back you're not going that way yep so for some of you obviously you're releasing this ex you're not looking that way anymore um and for some of you this is your person who has a baby mama or ex whatever that just can't let them go but the, your person is not looking back and yep create the reality of your dreams that's what you're doing this is about your dreams your goals we've been on this journey for some time and uh, your focus is to create your abundance your focus is to shift that energy but sometimes we have to go through harsh energies like this in order to move. If anything, if anything, um, Capricorn, what this does is it just, you know, sometimes, uh, honestly, I think this is all the time until we get, until our emotional body catches on to being able to see things ahead right because the spiritual journey kind of gives you information beforehand so you can kind of foretell what what can happen in the future right and our emotional body you know experiences are given to us to feed information to our emotional body to better judge and better make decisions much faster so these these death energies um, that we experience these epiphanies these awakenings that we experience um, move us through igniting our soul much quicker right so something is is working towards your favor um, and sometimes it you know a lot of the times it comes through pain um, and discomfort but this is moving you through yeah so back to passions again 
there is a burning fire inside of you waiting to come out. Time to get creative and work on what brings you joy and happiness. Doing what you love will give you energy and will attract like-hearted people to you. That's exactly what's happening here. It's it's moving you to what where you need to be. There's so much about creativity. Create the reality of dreams. There's You're in creation. Visualize abundance in all forms. Everything is moving you through. And yeah, bottom of the deck is illusions. So this is whatever was elusive is going away. You might be fooling yourself or others are fooling you. Don't let your mind or someone else put lies into your head. You know your own truth. Be careful of people who do, don't have any integrity. Take off the blindfold and see what is real. And, uh, you know, there's a need to see what is real. The illusions are tearing, are coming down. I do feel the seven of cups. We saw it twice. But, you know, someone has to, our souls work in tangent, right? And so one soul is releasing, but it's also illuminating another soul. And that's just how the movement of experience, you know, kind of walks our soul through growth. So we're going to get one more guidance for you here, Capricorn. Let's see. Shatter. Wow. The things that shatter you and break your heart can open your eyes. And that's exactly what this third eye is. So a lot of you, if it, this broken heart, this illumination, um, it really is to open your eyes and to move you through the next cycle of what speaks to your soul this past energy um, this energy that you're transitioning from is no longer going to be in alignment with your soul once you get through this part it's not it's not gonna it's not gonna match so um, listen to it um, respect the void because so much uncertainty will come from it and Spirit is saying there is a gap in time and space or other perception during which things are working beneath the surface. So let it be, you know, there's a lot that you just have to let be. So Capricorn, again, reminder, if you guys want a personal reading, uh, my email will be in the description box below. So email me and I will get back to you as soon as um, I can. Give me a day or two to reply as you know, things come in real quickly. So I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.